So today we're having breakfast at the Kona Cafe, which is located at the Polynesian Resort. This is one of the resorts, the three resorts around the Magic Kingdom. And they're currently under renovation, so look how cute these signs are with the hard hats. But anyways, um, they are famous for their Tonga toast, and you cannot believe what else they had in the menu. Check it out. So today we are having breakfast for the first time at the Polynesian. We're eating at Kona Cafe, and it's on the main uh, village house at the Polynesian. I'm excited. I've never, I've never eaten here. And this place is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So like I said, the Tonga toast can be made vegan and it is what they're famous for. But look, plant-based loco moco. What? Oh my God. So here we're sitting. It's really nice actually, uh, especially in the morning because there's not a lot of people. But um, so I just ordered a loco moco. Oh my God, I'm so excited about that. Um, I asked for the um, pico on the side, pico de gallo, because Locomoco technically doesn't have pico de gallo in Hawaii. So, um, but you know, this is like Americanized Hawaiian, I guess. Um, so it's plant based. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna actually see if I like this one better than the one I made. But uh, I'm just super excited. The fact that they even have it is ridiculous. But then I actually saw somebody having the Tonga toast and I was like, oh my God, it's vegan too. So then Anthony ordered it and then I'm like, good thing I asked. I'm like, and that was vegan too, right? She's like, oh, well it can be made vegan. So technically the Tonga toast, it's not vegan when you order it the way that you order it. So you have to make sure that it's um, ordered vegan. So obviously Anthony's gonna eat the non-vegan, so I won't try it, but maybe another time. So they brought the dish and this is what it looks like. There's a bed of rice underneath the eggs and then the gravy was served on the side. And as you can see, I was eating it and trying it, but I lost all the footage. I, I am so upset. So yes, guys, sorry. The videos were gone. I did a review. Um, so I did do a clip a few hours after and I didn't delete that. And then I recorded the day after my review. Midday update on the same day. Still pissed about my POS loco moco. Just wanted to mention that yes, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's been three hours. But I'm still upset. Hey guys, so as you can see, it's the day after. I'm wearing something else because I stupidly needed to make space in my phone because it's uh, running out of uh, space and I deleted my video with me trying it for the first time and reviewing it. So I figured I would come here to Magic Kingdom. I have the Tiki room in the background so you know still kind of islands vibe <laughs> and give you kind of like my uh, summary review because I deleted it all like a, an idiot. <laughs> but maybe it was for the best because yeah, I was so upset. I was so angry the entire time. So let me uh, let me give you the uh, the 101. So what happened is I tried it, I poured it. Anthony did a nice video filming me pouring it, and he was like, "Okay, this is exciting, you know. The uh, it's it's a bed of rice with this egg over on top, and then a gravy with uh, sausage, vegan sausage, right?" So then I go and pour it and I try it, I cut it and I try it all, right? Which is what you do with the locomoco. And to say I was, no, I wasn't disappointed. I was freaking pissed because that was not even close to what a locomoco is. Like if somebody actually tried a locomoco and tried to recreate, they would be like, this is completely not even, not even close. It didn't even like have a taste, like have a, a, a a hint of what a loco moco should be. Like my face was kind of like WTF. I was pissed, I was super pissed because like when you're telling me I'm gonna eat a loco moco, I expect to at least have a resemblance to a loco moco. Like whoever created that recipe, uh, maybe read it on a paper. I'm like, oh, this is the ingredients of a loco moco. Let me put it together. But I have taste nothing like it. So what happened was is that, well, first of all, 
the eggs were delicious i have to say i never really had eggs like that i think they used the the just eggs they were delicious like that was my favorite part and they tasted really nice and everything the rice was so bad it's not even funny like i don't i don't usually put salt in my rice but it tastes it tastes nice this tasted like plastic it was so bad it's not even funny like the rice itself it was overcooked but it just tasted like plastic but then we get to the gravy and then that's where like i lost it <laughs> as you can tell it's the day after and i'm still lividly pissed <laughs> but the gravy has no resemblance to what a uh, loco moco gravy is a loco moco gravy is really uh, rich very flavorful it actually uh, and this this tasted like the gravy that you'd get in like the south with like biscuits and gravy you know and even looked like it too it, it literally reminded me of like when you get like steak and gravy or chicken and gravy or whatever that kind of gravy that is not what a loco moco gravy is like whoever knows a loco moco would know that that's not a loco moco don't call it a loco moco because it's not a loco moco i was so pissed <laughs> Uh, itself the gravy was it good yeah but not it didn't add it didn't pull the whole dish together like a local moco does you know if you ask me and i hope somebody listens and makes this what they should have done is put the uh, brown derby the meat patties and that gravy that they use there for the soulberry steak vegan steak that would have been perfect that with the rice well cooked well cooked rice and flavored rice and the eggs that would have been perfection that would have been a vegan loco moco so there you go sorry i i don't have you don't see me saying all this because i said it almost just the same but in life <laughs> um yeah I, I i by mistake deleted it but but this is just a day after i vividly remember how much i was upset <laughs> but oh well you know at least at least I know I will never go there again, like ever. I will never have that again because I will be so vividly pissed again. And I don't want to have that. So, <laughs> like, and I have seen people that have pictures and stuff saying like, oh, this is good. Yeah, uh, because you maybe never had a loco moco. You're no, you have no idea what it's supposed to taste like because that is not a loco moco. Like, period, you know? So, anyways, as you can tell, I was really upset. I will never go there again. And I will continue making my vegan loco mocos until they come up with an actual vegan loco moco but until then i wish they would not call it a loco moco and so people would think that that's a loco moco because it's not let's have a let's play a game how many times does i say loco moco in this video <laughs> but anyways there you go i um you know obviously that was actually the one thing that i was looking for the most in trying this whole trip obviously because that's one of my favorite dishes in hawaii and uh yeah severely severely disappointed to say the least so but the eggs were delicious i would just have the eggs with nothing else <laughs> okay guys i hope uh yeah i hope i hope you don't try it i hope you come to hawaii and and i'll make you a loco moco so you know what uh what, what it's supposed to taste like so yeah i would not recommend it there at all whatsoever so you know it is what it is but um at least I, like I said, at least I made the video just now so that I can express my strong feelings that I had. And um, yeah, at least I, I had some pictures so I can show you. And, um, but yeah, lessons learned. So, okay, bye. So as always, I'm leaving you with close-up pictures of the foods. Again, these eggs were phenomenal that was that was the only good part of the dish but um yeah as always guys i'm very very honest and i will always tell you how i feel so i hope that you appreciate that but yeah so this this was like i said it is what it is here's just what it looked like and uh as always i'm leaving you with pictures of the trip this uh video is um we took from the polynesian to you take a boat to the magic kingdom and if you have the chance to do it make sure you do it whatever boat transportation you can because it's just a great way to see just um the hotels around it and the magic kingdom so here's more clips of the trip video log 1955 look at how beautiful it is today and the sky is the sky's awake so we have to play 
at that. So there you have it guys, this is my unfortunately not so good review of the Kona Cafe but I guess you win some and you lose some. Like fortunately I think this was like the only really bad experience I had, everything else has been amazing and we're almost halfway through my meal so I can pretty much say that any everything else was just amazing so just keep watching i hope that you are enjoying these um daily food videos and as always thank you for watching and leave a comment and subscribe aloha